Hello everyone, welcome to GK Code Labs. So, as you know, our uh, prime uh, goal on GK Code Labs here is to provide you the very close idea on uh, the concepts of big data and the actual project or uh, be it uh, the experiences or to the point experiences of the big data interviews or uh, the uh, tips and tricks uh, for um, required actually to crack the big data interviews. So uh, carrying on the same continuum, uh, we have Sanatan with us today who is uh, one of our uh, subscribers as well and uh, a great enthusiast of big data who uh, with his dedication and uh, hard work towards uh, big data he has managed to crack uh, not one but multiple interviews uh, and uh, he is here now to uh, share his experiences for whatever um, interviews he has been through and uh, uh, maybe we can get some good points from him. Uh, so over to you, Sanatan. So uh, let me congratulate you first that uh, uh, you have cleared uh, uh, multiple interviews in such tough times of COVID. So hi, uh, hi, Sanatan. How are you? How, How are, are you doing? You? I'm. I'm doing good. Uh, okay. Just going on. <laughs> Uh, and thank you great. very much for uh, providing me the content and I was pretty much lucky to find your channel and get the content at least. When I was so hovering sweet. around mm -hmm. uh, in the internet I was not able to find a perfect you know, uh, project experience kind of because the Thanks. technicality which we were aware of that was pretty much okay mm -hmm. and we were able to answer. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to real-time experience, mm -hmm. that's where uh, I was lacking behind. Okay, that's good. So somehow uh, I, I went through videos, a couple of videos in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Those were uh, to the point, uh, very crisp, very precise. Although many videos are there in YouTube, but uh, I found those are quite useful. The one, the OG one. And how you schedule the jobs and stuff. So those were quite quite useful. And uh, the tuning part, how you have managed to, um, you know, uh, cover everything in a precise way. Mm. And the same goes with uh, the videos. I mean, you said across for project. I was quite aware of this HDFS, MapReduce, Scoop, Hive, and Spark concepts. Mm -hmm. But again, um, when you're going with experience, around 6.5 years or close to 7 years of experience, definitely, uh, definitely, uh, interviewer, they will definitely they will expect something uh, more from you. If you're having 3 years of experience, yes. that is fine. That's right. But again, uh, if you're having more experience and at least you're showing 3 years of experience, mm -hmm. 3 years of experience is more than enough uh, in big data. I mean, they'll be asking multiple questions to you. Correct, correct. If you are having three years of experience and you are showing, mm -hmm. okay, I have three years of experience and uh, from last 1.5 years or so, I am working big data. So in that case, the questions, they will be asking a little bit mm -hmm. lenient to right. you. Right. So uh, <laughs> Sanatan, in this uh, session, uh, we will try to um, take your experience and uh, even you will be uh, more than happier to uh, share your experience to uh, someone who is trying to move to big data or uh, trying to um, um, attend the big data interviews. So uh, let us take this lightly first and uh, let's see, um, I mean, uh, a sort of yeah. non-technical uh, non things. Obviously, this entire session is not going to be your interview because you have already given enough. So. Yeah, let me ask you, uh, how long uh, it has been that, uh, I mean, you thought like uh, it's enough and I you need to move to big data. I mean, what uh, brought you to big data? Uh, so I, initially what happened, like I was uh, ERP resource. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, the predominant technology stack I was using is SQL, mm-hmm. Oracle SQL, mm-hmm. PL SQL, and Cell Script. Mm-hmm. Uh, so in my previous company, I gave a presentation on No SQL. Okay. So every Wednesday, we used to provide a presentation to the entire team so that uh, each one of us will be getting benefited for that from that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I gave a presentation on NoSQL and and I, I got a little interested to work because a new technology and I did some research and I started connecting the dots where it is going actually. So I come out of big data and I, I searched a lot uh, in a couple of uh, videos and, and through internet also. One of my friend, he was also working, I tried contacting him. So he guided me a lot like this, these things you can do. Okay. So <clears throat> I collected material from internet. Okay. Then I started connecting people through LinkedIn. Those who are in mm-hmm. big data. So, mm-hmm. so, so, so these stuffs I have just done because initially you never know like uh, how it is going. If you're going for big data, mm-hmm. you you know how many technologies are there inside. Correct. Correct. So this is where people are getting confused. Okay, why we are learning R, a Python, and then Scala, and then again. Um, Java, where should I go? What highway are we doing? What scoop are we doing again? How we are connecting it? How clouds are there again? Mm-hmm. How it is relevant? So after doing a whole lot of things, I started giving interviews. One to ten, 10 to 12 interviews I gave, mm-hmm. able to answer the questions. But somehow, uh, it was not um, getting through actually. So, right, right. So that point of time, <clears throat> I just go. I just found your. Uh, that was basically project. my next question. If you say that, uh, <laughs> uh, if you yeah. can frankly tell that, uh, being in your journey, uh, if you um, are uh, comfortable to answer that, how many interviews have you actually failed? Not successful, but have you actually failed? Do you have a count of that? Uh, yeah, I, I had a count. I mean, I, I keep I keep a count because. Okay. This is something. This is something. Uh, is not, unlike my previous uh, technology, mm-hmm. those are fine. We were we were able to crack the interviews because we have real time experience. Here we do not have real time experience, and things are there. So similarly, my one of my friend he also done the same thing. He had attended quite a quite a lot of interviews, and then he able to crack the interviews. Mm-hmm. Similar way, I I I went through. I I I was initially I was embarrassed, by, but I was ready for that. Mm-hmm. At all, other than general questions. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, eleventh, twelfth interview, twelfth mm. interview, uh, I was able to clear one round of interview clearly. Uh, I think uh, Sanatan, your internet connection somehow uh, broke, so uh, uh, we missed how much interviews you have failed. So, twelfth yeah. interview, fine now? we just yeah, yeah, it's fine now. So, can you just get uh, where mm-hmm. uh, hmm, how many interviews? So, twelfth interview oh. we got. But uh, before that, what uh, you Yeah, so uh, very first interview, I was totally scared. I mm-hmm. should uh, take the interview or not because totally it totally new and I am showing C4 and 5 years experience and they'll be asking a whole lot of questions, this and that. <clears throat> but again, uh, I had to do. So I started mm-hmm. attending interviews. 12th, 13th interview, I, uh, I got a, I got, I got clarified on the first round of interview. Mm-hmm. And out of those 12 interviews, uh, six interviews was for written round. Mm -hmm. So those are straight away, I mean, got rejected because they used to ask many questions. (laughs) So I was not prepared of actually. So so, uh, third, uh, 13th interview, uh, it got cleared. Mm -hmm. In 14th interview, Got a final selection. Fourteenth interview. That's great. Uh, that's great. Stuff. Then again, I think many people 15th, can learn 16th, from you. Yeah. Yeah. Then fifteenth, sixteenth continued. Okay. Still, it is going. So able to uh, uh, clear the interviews. No, no is yeah. whatsoever. So I joined also mm-hmm. uh, okay. last month. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. So mm-hmm. now main way is. Um, now I'm going to get some real-time experience and I need to survive somehow for two to three months <laughs> inside. <laughs> so that's the main that's challenge. <laughs> that's nice. 
so sanatan uh, will uh, come to exact point later but uh, being uh, as you have shared so much experience just a small tip for uh, maybe our subscribers uh, this might have been uh, a long journey and as you told uh, around 10 to 12 interviews uh, have been not so great for you so how did you keep yourself motivated so because it's not like i i uh, i think uh, even if you get rejected in one of the interviews itself uh, your morale goes down and uh, you get demotivated so what are the tips from you that uh, you kept yourself up and you been through your 15th or 16th interviews where you were uh, just uh, firing up all the interviews so just uh, what uh, tips you would like to give yeah no when it comes to uh, cracking the interviews uh, we need to know uh, like <clears throat> what kind of scenarios or what kind of issues we have faced in production mm-hmm. so that's where we were lacking other than that the core concepts have uh, was pretty much a uh, fine with us we were able to solve sql queries no issues whatsoever and then we were able to write python code uh, without any issues Mm-hmm. even sim- sample codes we used to write i used to write <clears throat> those are pretty much fine okay and then <clears throat> the only thing is when it comes to um, real time experience mm-hmm. that time around they'll be asking couple of questions um how will you handle this what mm-hmm. did you do those kind of questions i'll not go in detail oh. um a technicality but yeah mm-hmm. so that's where we were, i was lacking but again those questions will be getting generalized when you start attending interviews so suppose you were not able to answer few of the questions what did you do about those questions you noted them somewhere or uh, you just ignored them yeah that, 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 yeah 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 definitely if definitely is a good question or well, once you're getting question and you are not able to answer it definitely mm-hmm. i used to record the sessions i mean record the interviews okay being so, this times in covid uh, you might be giving the virtual interview so you were mm, that that's the benefit that's to that. record those yeah correct correct everything so this this is the main advantage we mm. i have got mm. because you need not to go outside need not to attend the interview face to face so that tvt you have with uh, you so mm. that, that that's what i did i i i collected the questions i reached out to people mm. those who are in the industry already mm-hmm. checked in linkedin Uh, and one of my friend also he is also working i i used to check with him this sort of questions she is asking i mean uh, i been ask mm-hmm. what should i do what should i answer okay. so this sort of questions uh okay there was there was time where i was comfortable to answer so so there was time i was pretty much able to answer almost all the questions yeah. and there is a point that time around uh, you are so was, dedicated yes there that come there is a point that comes in your uh, uh, journey yeah <laughs> you just need to, you inside you just know because i, I don't have experience mm. i just need to collect the questions i have 6.5 okay. years of experience i know what is happening in the industry and how 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 you need to tackle correct So Sanatan let so, me ask you like uh, what do you think what was the percentage of questions uh, w- w- what distribution would you give to spark hive no sequel and cloud like uh, being in any uh, interview for a good company what percentage was asked hmm. from spark what percentage was asked from hive no sequel and cloud like say gcp aws Um, mm-hmm. of what a okay. candidate should prepare like what he should expect okay 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 so so this is i i'll keep it i'll keep it very specific to the interview mm-hmm. purpose so when when we are attending interviews mm-hmm. there are two sort of interviews i guess there is one interview which is which is directly uh, we can say the project interviews mm-hmm. wherein they'll be interviewing you and directly deploying in the project mm-hmm. so which is very specific today they'll hire tomorrow they'll be putting into project mm. this sort of work we are doing you need to do this mm. 
and one more thing uh, another thing is another thing is there are many interviewers they'll check like how how you perform what whatever you have done how good you are at in that mm-hmm. so if i am mentioning everything mm-hmm. i have mentioned everything like i have uh, previously before mm-hmm. attending 13th interview mm-hmm. i mentioned gcp i mentioned aws mm-hmm. i mentioned everything i mentioned airflow i mentioned mm-hmm. uji i every, every sort of thing i mentioned kafka mm-hmm. everything so i will be able to answer few of the questions and then they'll they'll start digging it okay you have worked on this okay let me ask you a few questions that's where i'll be lacking right so uh, on on, uh, on the 12th interview one of my, one of the interviewer he said you need to trim down your resume mm-hmm. i trimmed okay. down all the way i get it then uh, then i just kept it to only hive mm. python and pyspark oh. like okay. Yeah, that, so coming that coming to that, uh, do you think like uh, before applying, uh, mm-hmm. this uh, in in uh, the skills you mentioned in your CV, uh, do mm-hmm. you think if fifteen uh, uh, things, twenty things are mentioned in your job description, do you mm-hmm. uh, have to restrain yourself before applying because there are twenty things? Not at or, all. Or uh, do you 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 can be confident if you are con. Uh, good at uh, two of those twenty, you can Pretty go ahead and apply. No, no, this is whatsoever. In big data, I I have noticed if you are at good at any one technology, definitely you will be getting calls. So there, there, there is nothing like you will be getting calls. Definitely you will be getting calls. You just have to clear the interview. And you just need to get high. You just need to get through once. Once, okay, okay. once, once you are getting through, then in fact, whatever you do, you, whatever you want, you can do. So in, initial goal is to getting into. Hmm. getting into the industry so i mentioned only hive and pyspark that's pretty much and they will they'll, they'll be asking oh, do you have any knowledge in cloud yeah i have knowledge but i have knowledge but i i do not have any hands on experience mm-hmm. okay then uh, uh, what are you doing now i mean i am working in hortonbox mm-hmm. in house cluster mm-hmm. and they plan to migrate uh, everything to cloud so this sort of answer you need to give in such a way mm. that this they, they should believe they should believe like okay okay this guy is saying uh, so, so sort of uh, uh, things which is real so i used to say i used to say i used to say no i mean i am working in hortonbox cluster and and the client is plan to move towards cloud so we are doing uh, rate of treatment of the code mm-hmm. and we are plan to move uh, i mean we are planning to move towards cloud so now mm-hmm. it is pipeline we are just replanning the codes so this sort of answer is to give now coming to tech stack when when i am mentioning hive you should be good at sql you can pra- practice window window functions mm-hmm. those are pretty much pretty much very frequent they are asking window functions mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. and then general sql queries in hive Okay. Okay. So and uh, then as, in Py. Okay. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Yeah. And then your basic knowledge about CSDFS. What is uh, name node? What is standby node? What is secondary name node? Mm-hmm. So these things they will ask. Only one or two questions, maybe. Not okay. more than that. Scoop. I have not noticed. Uh, out of fourteen, fifteen, sixteen interviews, maybe one or two interviews they have asked scoop, but very yes. less. Now but predominantly, predominantly, yeah. mm. so predominantly, predominantly SQL, Hive SQL, yeah. window functions, and PySpark, mostly. That's pretty much. This is enough to clear interview. No okay. need to mention everything. Right. Once you are getting into, if you know, that is fine. If you don't know, no need to stress because stressing is something. There, there are many things you cannot cover each and everything, yeah. and you can present yourself. that's it right, that's it right. so uh, as you have given uh, multiple and you have multiple interviews and you have been getting uh, multiple calls for maybe different projects uh, different requirements so what do you think as per your experience what is currently in india what is uh, more in demand you think uh, spark and scala or pyspark hello 
I believe uh, I mean you you can get a job in Life Park. Uh, uh, no, not a doubt. No, no, no. There is no doubt. Right. But when it comes to big data processing, uh, definitely uh, Scala is more preferred. And I believe Scala is more easy. I mean, easy. Yeah, I just I just initially I thought like it's a, it's a tough it's a tough language. But okay. when I uh, get through content. It was quite easy to write Scala codes. Oh, I mean, also we knew not to maintain the orientation on like uh, Python. Right loop and braces, mm-hmm. curly braces, write down the code directly. It's mm-hmm. straightforward. Mm-hmm. So uh, calls are pretty much um, similar in both the languages. Okay. So many people had some question that uh, is it necessary that every interviewer asks. uh the streaming scenarios as well what you been asked in your all 15 16 interviews the streaming no. scenarios also no 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 not not really if you don't know that is also fine okay if you know well well and good okay if you don't know it's not an issue fine fine so um as uh, right now if uh, many of the viewers are uh, watching us so if you are uh, watching nearby about 2020 so uh, many people may be concerned that what is the scope of big data jobs in uh, this scenario like covid scenario because in linkedin every other post you might have seen and uh, that's uh, i mean um, very uh, sad for uh, any of the posts that i see that uh, people are losing their jobs so uh, being the correct uh, technology to move in uh, what do you think what is the scope of big data being in this uh, tough times of covid do you think it is good or it's just like mm-hmm. any other technology no i mean uh, the number of calls you will be getting do you know in the covid situation, situation also i was uh one month of notice period in my previous company mm-hmm. so maybe because of that i was getting call but I, the amount of call i was getting is something very huge on a day i used to get 50 calls on a day 50 that's great 50 calls mm-hmm. 50 calls so out of And that wh- wh- what experience 30, are you can you repeat it like what experience are you on uh, what uh, overall experience you have Six point five years. Six point five years. So six, yeah, six maybe five years. this can mm-hmm. give a good message that uh, if you are uh, at a decent experience of uh, six to seven years, five to seven years, uh, you st- still there is a very good scope in data engineering. So yeah, Sanatan, we can. Uh, yeah. So. Um, It definitely every company I am just seeing every other company I don't know what they're doing with what they're doing with big data but every other company they wanted to uh, implement their um, big data pipelines maybe because for future purposes so what they are doing it is just very simple so, there is only data everywhere <laughs> they need a uh, yeah. processor even I have uh, seen like two GB of data five GB of data they are uh, processing it with big data. I mean, I think our this uh, this video call of ours is not getting recorded somewhere. Yes, it is. That's data. So <laughs> <laughs> I think the demand yeah. of uh, yeah. data engineers and data scientists should be more in these times. Anyway, uh, let's stick to the topic. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, what uh, like for project experience? Uh, what mm. was more helpful to you in case? Uh, for you or if someone is moving from uh, non big data technology to big data so uh, knowing from your experience what was uh, more helpful for you, uh, for telling the uh, big data okay so uh, if you are coming here definitely uh, uh, okay uh, we can say if you don't have any programming experience also Uh, that is also quite fine uh, to move into mm-hmm. but if you are if you are aware with one of the language any language any sort of language whether it be it be java or python or so, plc equal even for any sort of language 
is pretty much easy to uh, get into big data because the same way we are writing the code the only thing is uh, uh, few of the libraries we are calling and it's quite easy to i mean move to what big data because uh, sql part is also that people are quite aware of uh, sql a whoever is working in java definitely they are making connectivity making jdbc connections they are playing around with sql it is quite easy for them also to uh, uh, move into so um, i don't think uh, i don't think who, who doesn't have any programming experience they cannot move into just need to make the learning curve may be a little bit higher Mm-hmm. but it's quite achievable not a big deal okay okay thanks sanatan so uh, a few of the last questions uh, mm-hmm. as we are mm-hmm. on my channel gk code lab mm-hmm. i just wanted to ask how useful was my channel gk code labs for you in your journey yeah as i said i have been going through a couple of blogs and a couple of videos Mm-hmm. other than your uh, videos what you have posted in youtube mm-hmm. and also the content you have provided me mm-hmm. so other than that i have been going through uh, the ed- edurata videos mm-hmm. but there are many videos i have posted yeah so when it comes to your videos it was very precise and to the point so i am not praising myself but your videos are quite uh precise and to the point just take it and put it across ah, okay in the interviews thanks and thanks, the project sir. what we have provided that mm-hmm. is quite helpful actually okay the project the project, project uh, okay. video okay actually in fact it has the, uh, in fact the... it has connected everything mm-hmm. yes Uh, the my yeah, main target for providing yeah, that content was this only uh, just to provide the uh, clear picture so uh, i hope that mm. correct yeah yeah so that that is what like i was also uh, pretty much in a confusion state like what should i how should i start mm-hmm. when i'm introducing what i'm doing in my project mm-hmm. so i took a content directly i i am literally saying whatever you explained in your project i took that and even the same thing i have written in my resume mm. straight away same thing just okay. go and i just marked it up <laughs> and tell them right away so uh, yeah that was from me. real experiences uh, so uh, thanks yeah. uh, thanks uh, it's good to hear that so uh, any any uh, suggestion let's see uh, me being a newbie any suggestion from me uh, for me um, that i want to attempt any big data interview for the first time because you also know in the first time i do i'm not going to clear it so yeah. any suggestion from your side uh, for a first time uh, person who is going to give a uh, big data interview what he should i i know the basic i know basic of uh, java or scala uh, but i'm nowhere near to big data what suggestion you would up can you can you come again i didn't get a question actually okay so uh, any suggestion from your side am i uh, am my voice is clear now Yeah, I you yeah, now now display yeah. tell me. So any suggestion from your side uh, for any newbie? Let's say I am a person who has very basic idea of let's say Java or Python. And uh, I am going to attempt mm-hmm. a big data interview being uh, a sort of a small learning I have on Hadoop, Hive and Evolve, but I have never given a big data interview. so how can i be confident mm-hmm. and what i should be expecting just uh, two lines what you you can tell me for me being confident uh, in facing that interview okay i want it uh, so <clears throat> what i would uh, say is when you have decided to come into just go and, just go and start attending interviews at pretty much then you will able to know what they are asking what they, what is their expectation since since you said uh, you don't have 
much experience in big data um, learning curve also is less you know java or python and some sort of some sort of basics uh, in hadoop you have so just go and start attending the interviews that point of time you will realize where i'm lacking and what all i need to improve and don't hesitate to ask interviews at last <laughs> i am new to it can you please guide me i i have done that i i have done that i did attending interview i have done that two times i have done that i have i am just making the transition of myself i am lost there are many things to learn can you just um, help me with that so That's there are great. two That's interviews actually a great to. message from you mm. that there is no shortcut to success you have to go mm. ahead you have to face the interview yeah just go attend them mm. 1 2 3 4 5 6 15 20 30 mm. right 31st you will clear <laughs> that that that's, that's right so that was And very practical. good information from you sanatan so uh, sanatan just let me ask you what uh, being right now in actual big data project that is in production right now what uh, what plans do you have uh, in big data or data engineering data science what what future plans you have if you have uh, any the very so first thing right now what i'm thinking the line. sorry yeah yeah, okay. yeah. so yeah so the combination definitely the combination is there we also um, you know we had a discussion mm-hmm. like when you are working in big data definitely you are interacting you will be interacting in data science model mm-hmm. also because big data is coming under the umbrella of data science mm-hmm. so once the data is ready definitely you those data will be uh, pushed out for uh, for the analysis mm-hmm. so I have, I have, I remember like many of the many of my friends, those who are working in data science, they are also working in, I mean, they are also working in big data. Mm-hmm. So this is not something like if you are working in big data, you will not be interacting with data science, mm-hmm. or maybe if you are working in data science, but it is very specific. Mm-hmm. So definitely, these are the mix of it, and I think you you better know more than me <laughs> what is the future of it. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the target just is around uh, like uh, mm. exact experiences because my experiences are old okay. i have been doing this uh, quite a while back but right now what is going on that uh, you are the best candidate to tell that so yeah, yeah. so uh, no the number of calls i am getting it's pretty much huge mm. profile views are pretty much high mm. in nokri great So, so thanks no worry but, just yeah. yeah yeah uh just at the last point just maybe uh, someone can take uh, some points on their fingertips uh, after this session uh, would you like to tell uh, some specific points that someone should keep should be keeping on their fingertips about spark tell me two points that uh, they might be okay. asked No, I, I will, I will, I will point out everything in mm-hmm. all the technology. So uh, there are three topics: forward. maybe uh, Spark, Hive, and uh, Cloud. Maybe AWS or GCP, anything. So uh, two points should be kept on the fingertips about Spark, two points about Hive, two points about Cloud mm-hmm. that you have faced most. Mm-hmm. So whenever, whenever the interview questions are being asked. on hive it is sql this mm-hmm. sql yeah nothing more than that additional question you will be i mean you will be asked is um, internal external tables okay okay and then what sort of optimizations you can do pocketing in or uh, partition huh? mm-hmm. in hive um, uh, partitioning and then uh, how vectorizations are uh, helpful mm-hmm. how it is working actually mm-hmm. those stuff you will be easily able to find out in google mm. other than that you just need to practice sql window okay. functions okay that is that is pretty much about hive mm-hmm. now uh, when i'm uh, coming to spark uh, general questions typically they will be asking how will you uh, optimize your job 
what mm-hmm. sort of automation technique you have used uh-huh. then what kind of issues you have faced in your project i mean while doing um, while working Very on a important. pipeline yes then uh, how would you handle how would you handle small file issues okay then uh, <clears throat> write codes mm-hmm. then they they'll be they'll be giving you uh, some sort of uh, input and on top of that they'll be asking on two ways you can use spark sql data frame spark sql mm-hmm. or general transformations okay if you are going with general transformations then impression will be more i mean it will be better mm-hmm. but <clears throat> spark sql is also fine you, okay. you can answer this way saying that since i was working previously in a sql background mm-hmm. so i was pretty much comfortable with spark sql and also my project uh, i mean the current pipeline i'm working in mm-hmm. is operating so i mean we have written the code in spark sql and then in spark they will def- and they will be jumping directly to python codes okay write palindrome number or in the basic questions the so concept, the, uh, sometimes related to your programming language not related to spark right mm. uh, also mm, some mm, yeah yeah yes. spark is very limited there mm spark okay. questions are very limited they will be they will be mostly focusing on sql and if you are going with python they will be asking questions on python or if you are going with scala they will be asking questions on uh scala mm-hmm. other than that very generic questions they'll be asking towards uh, spark those are pretty much okay okay and now when it comes to cloud um, i have not mentioned anything i mean i trimmed down previously I mentioned as i said i trimmed down i trimmed down i said oh, i know i mean i have worked in i mean uh, aws cmr clusters mm mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> then i also worked in redshift Uh, how it is connecting to s3 and so that pretty much nothing more than that so no it's lambda, not necessary no that if, if you know that is, fine yeah it's not necessary yeah. that if someone can tell that i have not worked on cloud but still he has a good scope yeah 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 no 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 yeah. so if you are aware with i mean if you are working in inox cluster mm. that's pretty much fine okay. cloud is just a another services yeah Got so it. no need to focus more on cloud mm. you just need to get in uh, call which is very specific to your spark and hive that's pretty mm-hmm. much after that you can do it okay okay uh good uh so um, thanks anathan like uh, it was uh, very uh, very helpful uh, for me to understand the current scenario and maybe it will be very helpful for uh, our viewers uh, who are aspiring to be in big data and who are attempting to give interviews uh, in big data these days specifically so uh, thank you for sharing all these experiences yeah. and uh, uh, just uh, yeah thank you very be much. with us be with gk code lab family and uh, we'll be also bringing up uh, much more videos in which uh, you might also share your experiences so thank you sanatan uh it was mm-hmm. very nice talking to you yeah thank you very much thanks uh, thanks uh, okay no okay, happy thanks anna yeah okay, happy weekend good night bye bye <laughs> thanks bye bye mm-hmm.